Hey everybody, it's Saturday, May 19th, 2018. I'm Justin Costelli, this is all about your Benjamins. Uh, this is your weekly mixtape and your weekend review video. As you can see, we're out on the road again. Not as nice of a Saturday as last weekend, but it's not raining. Uh, a 5K and mini marathon had me taking a different route this morning. Uh, but, wanted to get to a few headlines, kind of an uneventful week this week. As far as news goes, that's not a bad thing. But as you'll see, it was a great week for reading. Uh, the blog posts down below in the mixtape are pretty good this week, so uh, not a lot of news, but some good reading. I'll take that more not, more times than not. Um, but I'm about a third of a mile in of a four-mile walk this week. Got the backpack on again, 40 pounds in there. Uh, so before I get too winded, as you can hear, I'm already uh, starting to have trouble talking while I walk. Let's get to a few headlines and then get you to your weekend, to your weekly readings. Um, so first, we're going to start start with oil prices. Most of you probably don't follow the oil markets. I don't either, but you're going to hear about uh, Brent crude hitting $80 this week a barrel, U.S. crude hitting, uh, sorry, uh, U.S. crude hitting over $70 a barrel. Wasn't too long. We were wondering if this would ever get over $50 a barrel, but they're here. So how are they getting there? Well, simple economics tell us supply, demand, and geopolitics kind of control the oil markets. Um, not going to go into too much detail on all those, but Saudi Arabia, Venezuela has an election coming up. Those two countries making little headlines, driving oil prices up, but then it's supply and demand as well. So no one really knows why markets go up and down. We just know that they do. Uh, but again, economics tells us it's supply, demand, and geopolitics. So uh, oil prices going up means we're going to see gas prices at the pump going up. We're already above $3 here in Indiana, so we'll see what that does to consumer sentiment, which we talked about last week, and also to spending. So uh, we'll see how that impacts the extra money we all have from the uh, tax bill. So we'll see. Um, next up, check my notes. Small cap stocks, as measured by the Russell 2000, hit an all-time high. So the Russell 2000 is the index for U.S. small cap stocks. Hit all-time high this week, which is a good thing to see. Uh, just another argument for why you should be diversified. I've written about this. We've talked about it on different videos, but you know, through last year, for the six or seven years prior, large U.S. is where you needed to be. You could have been all S&P 500, and as we know, people have home country bias. You were okay, but last year international did better. Uh, this year small caps are taking off, so. Uh, even more reason to support the argument of being diversified. You never know who it's going to be, when they're going to take off, where you need to be. So it's better just to have your money spread around based off your risk. Uh, but keep an eye on those small caps because they're breaking off. Uh, next, a topic that I could care less about, but the U.S. Supreme Court uh, ruled that they're going to leave it up to the states to determine whether or not sports gambling is legal. So um, now you don't have to go to Vegas or to off-site betting places. You may be able to vote from the comfort of your home or driving down to your closest city. Uh, again, I could care less. I don't like to gamble. Um, I'd rather invest, but it's a big deal for a lot of people. Uh, so we'll see what the states say as far as gambling and what that means to Las Vegas and other popular betting places. My guess is those places will still remain popular. Um, there's some wedding going on this morning, probably has already happened. Um, don't understand our fascination with it, but that's another big headline this week. Does nothing to your markets, but kind of add a little bit of diversification to the topics that we cover. And finally, I know that I never really talk about the, you know, the bad that goes on in our world. A lot of tragedy this week. We had a Cuban airplane crash with over 100 people die last night. We had two school shootings within 24 hours. Um, you know, switch hands. You know, there's a lot of negativity that goes out there. The media covers that plenty. If you want to hear about those things, no trouble finding those. Um, I just wanted to acknowledge that I know that everything's not peachy, like I may present it to be. I try to tend to focus on the, the positive and look at the things that are optimistic. Uh, I leave those topics to your normal media, and they don't really impact our financial planning and portfolios. So um, I wanted to acknowledge that I know there's bad that goes on in the world, but I would rather focus our time on positive things and things that are actually going to implement or impact your planning and your investments. So um, there are bad things, but we're going to focus on good things here. And that's pretty much it. That's it for the news. Um, be sure to check the readings down below. Again, I think there's some real good ones on there this week. My friend Andres Garcia wrote a piece about knowing yourself, kind of determining your values. 
would be very interested and curious to hear what your values, what you value the most uh, are. So if you want, you can email me, contact all about your Benjamins. If I get enough responses, I can put together an anonymous kind of list of what people value the most. You can also hashtag AAYB, all about your Benjamins, uh, values. So hashtag AAYB values. I put it on the video so you can see that. And just share with everybody what, you're, what you value most. And again, if I get enough, it'd be kind of cool to put together a post with a collection of everybody's most valuable uh, components of their life. Um, be sure to subscribe to the blog, the podcast. I have a new episode coming out on Tuesday. I'm kind of excited for it. It's going to be a solo podcast, but it's going to be uh, readers' questions. I guess listeners' questions. So we'll have that on Tuesday coming out. Subscribe to the podcast. Follow along on Instagram at RLS Wealth Management, and you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see all the weekly mixtape videos, uh, whiteboard videos, and everything else that we're doing. So uh, I'm getting winded. I'm gonna go back to my walk, put my AirPods in, listen to some music, and I'll let you get to your weekend. So with that, enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you in the next episode.